Happy Buzzard Day. We're having a great time out here at Hinkley Reservation. This is the day when the buzzards come in. Now, if they come in, that means it's a sign of spring. So you know what? Someone's jealous and his name is the groundhog. Okay, but this is there's also some really other cool places to spot buzzards, and we're gonna show you right now. Check this clip out. Happy Buzzer Day, everybody. Welcome to Hinkley Reservation. Though we've transitioned away from the buzzer roost a little bit, we have traveled very close by to the beautiful Whips Ledges. Whips Ledges is a place where the turkey vultures do like to come and visit. They don't just go to the buzzard roost. They do visit multiple habitat locations in Hinkley Reservation. Now, turkey vultures are known to like kind of rocky crevices, just like what we have at Whips Ledges, Warden's Ledges. And Whips Ledges is made out of sandstone, a sandstone called Sharon Conglomerate. And when turkey vultures come here, they're pretty low maintenance. They don't make a very fancy nest. They just lay their eggs in a rocky crevice and they're very shy and secretive, and then they go. But this top of ledges area is a great place to spot turkey vultures and not only do the turkey vultures come here but you'll see a lot of hikers that come here and rock climbers so it's a beautiful spot just to enjoy the view but also to enjoy nature and to recreate in the outdoors other places to spot the turkey vulture they say that the police station over in Hinkley, the ranger station, is also an excellent spot to see the turkey vultures as well. Um, Whips Ledges has a great trail. It's about a mile long. It loops around the ledges here, and you'll get great views of the rocks. You can see a lot of birds in the springtime. I will say Hinkley has some of the great spring wildflowers in Cleveland Metro Parks. So not only is the turkey vulture a sign of spring, but so are those spring wildflowers that you can only see in Hinkley as well. Hinkley Lake Boathouse is also a great spot to visit in Hinkley. It has some great outdoor recreation opportunities, especially in the summer. And you'll see a lot of beaver activity as well. So there's a lot of wildlife in Hinkley, although we're mostly known for our turkey vultures, a sign of spring. And every year since 1957, which is a long-standing tradition, we celebrate spring by the first sighting of the turkey vulture on March 15th every year. We're our worst, our own All right, now this is really, really cool, you guys. Natalie, so the wingspan, basically you're like a six feet, so I'm like five eight, so yep. mine. Plus my hand. Plus your hand. Is one turkey vulture wingspan. So this is a smaller turkey vulture. This right. is one wing. Mm -hmm. And if you had two, it would reach about six feet long. Wow. So these are really big birds. Huge this, birds huge and birds. hollow bones. So they have hollow bones. A lot of our birds have hollow bones. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, yeah. but you can actually see these hollow bones and that allows them to actually lift off and take flight. So that's extremely important for such a large bird. So this bird may look really big. This wing may look really big. Yeah. But they weigh under three pounds. And then uh, the, you were explaining um, they're flapping. Yes. So uh, they're super uncomfortable flappers, super wonky, real slow and awkward. Yeah. So what their main way of flight is, is to actually actually soar. soar. So they're going to soar with these wings way stretched out and actually a little tilted. So they're in a V. And as they <laughs> for, soar, for, for, for okay. turkey vulture, right? right? V for vulture. We're learning our alphabet as, yeah. we, as we bird. <laughs> <laughs> but as they soar, they're not perfect soars. They do a lot of tilting okay. and that can help us figure out what they are as well. All and right. then a really good one, if you're looking at a turkey vulture, they're obviously going to be above you. Yep. You're going to notice that black Dark line top. on top and that white underneath. Ah. And that is the true best way when they're up in that sky 
to see if you have a true. And we are getting, that. we're bird. wrapping up right now, but we're getting a lot of birds on. There's a red tailed hawk we have spotted. Yeah. We've seen some blackbird. Blackbirds. Rackles are also a sign of spring. Okay. We're getting a lot of sparrows. So it's all been right. a great morning. All right. So, so far, so good. As you can see, all of our little, our turkey vulture fans over there warming up. Yes, indeed. When we come back, more Buzzard 101. Okay, back to you guys in the studio. We're having a good time. Ken we'll just in with that guy. Kenny, did you do your bird <laughs> calls yet? Maybe you need to do that a little bit more this morning. Yeah. And, and then you then know what? That's very true. I'm going to bird. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bird call when we come back. Yes, I got okay. to Wow, up. that's something to wait for. That, I'm not sure if they'll come running or go yeah. running, right? Probably go come. running. Yeah.